Hello and welcome back. In today's video, we will look at how we can open PDF files from within Excel program. If you work a lot with Excel files and frequently open PDF files, this will be a really time saver for you like it has been for me. So let's fire up our Excel file, open the VB editor and let's start coding. All right, so the shortcut for VBA editor is Alt F11. Let me open it up. Right, so I already saved this file as an XLSM file, as you can see here. This is an XLSM file, so we can save the macros within the Excel file instead of saving them in the personal macro workbook. Okay, so in the VBA section, we click on the actual Excel file. So our file is named Open PDF from Excel. We right click it. Say insert module. We start any code with typing a sub keyword that is short for subroutine and we give it a meaningful code name. So let's say open PDF from Excel and you will see that as soon as I press enter it will add the parenthesis and it will also add the end sub by itself. Alright, so let me make some space. Let me add some indentation. It's a good idea to add indentation you can skip it but it's a good industry standard to have and it's easier for other people to follow your code as well all right so we declare variables using dim dim is short for dimension uh, we will start with two main variables so one variable will save the path for our pdf reader that is adobe acrobat and the second will we will save the actual pdf file the one we need to open the first variable will be path to exe equals sorry let's say dim path to exe as string so we know that we are gonna save string in it so we are declaring it as a string type okay the second variable we need is dim pdf to open as string this is also string because this will contain the pdf we need to open the path for pdf we need to open all right, so I've already traced the path to my Adobe Acrobat. You, your path will be sim somewhat similar to this as well. If, if it's different or if you're using a different program, like maybe Foxit Reader or any other reader, you can replace the path here. Okay, so for now, I'm hard coding the PDF to open path. Just for testing purposes, I will make it dynamic later on. We will see. So as you can see here that this file has some dummy data, invoice ID, branch name, city, customer, and the main relevant column is invoice underscore link. So let's say you have hundred of invoices, different lines, and you have all of their hyperlinks in a specific column, and you don't want to do right click and then you go to open and follow all of those, you can easily make a macro and open these PDF files from within the Excel. So let me copy this path here and within double quotes let me paste the path here we hide this a bit here so i'm gonna make some space all right so i've saved the pdf path in pdf to open i have added the acrobat path in path to exe now we will use shell to open this pdf file shell is basically the command prompt on windows the basic syntax of shell is you write the shell keyword itself you write in a space and then you give it or the program to open so let's say we say notepad.exe and then we say vb normal focus so vb normal focus is a is the default setting you can change it and you can read more on this on the web page for the microsoft vba all right so if i say f5 or f5 is a shortcut to run the subroutine or the macro if I click on this, it should open the notepad. So it's opening up here, as you can see, it's an empty notepad and I can close it. All right, so I will comment this out and keep it here for reference. And I will start making up our own shell path to open the PDF file through Acrobat Reader. First thing we will give to shell is the path to XZ. All right, and then we will give ampersand double quotes so this kind of space in between the path and the actual file location. So we will say PDF to open and then we will use the same VB focus 
VB normal focus. All right, let me click on run and we will see that this is opening up the file. But as you will see that this is not dynamic and it's only going to work on this specific file location which we hard coded here. But what we want is that whatever row we are standing at, we want that specific link to work on that row. So for example, if I'm at row number two, I want a link in this column to open. Same as like if I'm row number three, I want this link to open. This could have hundreds of different lines. It's just a small example. So you just see two lines. Okay, so we can make the path dynamic. So where we're saying PDF to open, we can make this dynamic. So we can use a cells function of VBA. The cells function accepts a row index and a column index. So you give it a row number and a column number, but you have to give it as a numeric. So what you will do is you can say row number one and then you trace the column in which the file location is and you can see that it is column number 13 so let's give it this and here we can see that if we run this again okay so it's not opening up okay so i am giving it row number one which is incorrect it should be row number two okay so it opens up the file location which is at row number two it's a bit dynamic but still not the dynamic we want so what we can do is we can use active cell dot row so what this will do is this will put in the row number for the active row we are at so if we are at row number three this will be three if we are row, row number two this will become two okay All right we can make this dynamic as well so what we will need to do is we will declare another variable we will say call underscore number as integer we're declaring it as integer because we know that we are going to save integer value in this right. we can use match function of excel to return us the column number we will need to use application dot worksheet function dot match all of the parameters of the match function are similar to what we use in normal excel so for example i say match here and we have three arguments lookup value lookup array and the match type so we can use this exact formula in vb as well we just have to precede it with application dot worksheet function so let's do that call underscore number equals application worksheet function dot match then we give it the match value which is the column name in our case so that is this and then we are we need to tell it that we need to match this column name in row number one the way we do it is we say rows and we say one through one All right keep in mind that this code assumes that this our header columns are in row number one so for example if your example is like this you will say row number two through two but ideally the column headers should be in row number one as it makes the bit things a bit more standardized all right so now what we can do is each time the code will go through this it will match up the column name invoice link it will trace out the column number for it and put it here so let's do here all right so before I replace the column number here, I just want to test that if I remove specific column, will our code work or not? So for example, down the line, I realized that I don't need the gross income column. So I'm gonna remove it. Okay, so I have removed it. So let me comment this and let's run this code and see if it works. All right, so it's opening up the PDF, but it's not actually loading the PDF. It means that it's not picking up our location the reason is because our column number is hard coded it's still at column number 13 which is column m which is blank now because we deleted one specific column right so now what we can do is we can replace the 13 with the variable we just created so now each time it will match up the variable name invoice underscore link trace it in row number one and wherever it finds it it will save its column number so let me run this again now okay so first file works let me move to the second line all right so this works as well so we can see that 
we are able to open up both of the invoices so it means that this is working fine and this is the way you can make things dynamic and this is how you can open pdf files from within the excel program all right that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy the video if you did please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos